Just making a quick video for all you guys here. Um, sorry about my shitty camera work. I'm just kind of doing this off my cell phone. I don't usually make videos. Um, G Nuts guy had a video up for how to do this on the Type 81 uh, drum mag. And uh, if you go to his, one of his Type 81 videos still has the information in the description. Um, his, the way he did it, is actually different from what I'm going to be showing you, but this method was recommended on the uh, Canadian Gun Forum of some type. I can't remember the exact name of the forum. I believe that's what it's called. Um, so I followed it. Uh, I'm not sure I followed it exactly. I kind of just, I do stuff like this all the time. Um, so I just kind of went through it in my head and uh, did it, but I'll show you how to do it. Um, obviously you want to pin it before you put the spindle in it for, uh, legal reasons, but, uh, basically, I don't know how I'm going to show you this. Okay. So the, you should know how, how a drum works. First of all, like obviously your uh, follower that's right there is in the last, uh, outer ring. So there's three rings that go around. Um, if it was allowed to have the full 75, obviously it would start back here and it would work its way around. Um, but we're pinning it to five. So, um, there's t the way G nuts guy had his, I believe the pin was somewhere, somewhere back here. Um, maybe a little farther, somewhere back there at like 26, 27 millimeters, something like that. Um, and it basically stopped the actual follower itself, but that's not necessarily the best way to do it just cause it's a moving part right there. Um, this is where the actual pivot point is so you want to go off that and the reason why you can do that without it interfering with the next pivot point is because they're in different uh different areas so these ones are all in pretty well like the second ring and this is the only one that's in the first or sorry the outer ring there so uh yeah so you just want to get a uh eighth inch by half inch long rivet and basically just want to drill on the side i'll give you guys the measurements in one second here but uh basically just halfway in line with that thing up there um it doesn't have to be perfect you have a lot of wiggle room like as long as you're touching this pivot point it doesn't really matter um and as long as it's not touching anything else but uh yeah you want to drill your eighth inch hole put your rivet in there get it clamped down um so to figure out what distance you need i mean i'll give you guys the measurements but it's pretty straightforward so let me just grab uh, some rounds here and I'll just show you how it kind of works. All right, so um, this is the stupidest thing about this drum now <laughs> is to operate it, you got to do uh, two rounds at a time and kind of feed them in. So let's just, okay, tension's cleared. It's gonna be really hard to do with uh, two hands while trying to hold the camera. Let me actually just set this, oh wait, hold up. I got this, I can do it. Maybe. So basically, you want to you want to push the follower away, so you have your two uh, your two things available there, two slots for two rounds. Then put your rounds in. Hopefully, they cooperate with me while I'm trying to do this with one hand, and they're not really cooperating, so that's fun. Okay, so you basically have to do two at a time. So once two's in, you push them in. You can reset it. Do two more. Like so, push that in, and then that gives you just enough space. It'll kind of touch the other round as it retracts, but it'll give you just enough space to put one more round in for five. And that's pretty well it. So you got five, you got a tiny bit of play here at the end, which is good. You want you don't want it super tight just for uh, like feed issues and whatnot. You want to have a little bit, that's, I don't know, I'd say that's about an eighth inch or three sixteenths of an inch right there of play. Um, so yeah, well, I'll, I'll demonstrate how it works and then I'll, I'll give you guys the measurements and whatnot. So we'll wind it up. Don't need it. Sorry about the camera work. We'll just wind it up. Two little quarter turns there. So now, okay, I really got to learn how to set this camera up for this one. <laughs> uh, give me one sec here. I can manipulate this chair to my favor real quick. Oh God. I really should have came prepared for this. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna overhang it. 
<laughs> towards the ground. And I, I was doing this earlier. The last round is always really hard because of the spring tension, but I'll just demonstrate how it works. So got one round out, two round, three round, four round. And can I get the last one? Oh, nope, too much tension. Oh, it does work, I promise. <laughs> it's because I probably turned it too much or whatever. It's kind of hard to get that last round out if you're not actually, you know, a bolt. But uh, yeah, that's basically how it works. So uh, we'll open her back up. And we'll release that tension. All right, so measurements we got. So basically you're going from, you're starting your measurement from the base of this neck right here, this little uh, ridge there. That's where I'm going from. I'm going to try to hold the camera so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. It's really difficult. I'm pretty sure I started this video sideways and now I'm going all fucked up, but whatever. Oh, come on. A lot of people do this for a living. I guess they have tripods and shit, eh? <laughs> Fuck sakes. All right. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, there we go. Is that good? Does that show shit? Yeah, okay, perfect. So, from here, we'll go. You, you'll see I'm going right on that ridge there. It might be hard to see, but that's where I'm going to be going. Don't mind my dirty fingernails. I'm a contractor. Uh, so, mine is at... 60, 66 and a half, I would say, uh, millimeters. Um, so anywhere in there, 66 or 67. That's actually how it was recommended on the forum. I didn't actually follow that when I did it. I just kind of went through it. So it's, it's kind of common sense. Sorry, guys. I'm fucking my camera angles up here. But uh, when you go through it, right, like basically what you're trying to do when you're trying to set the rivet up is see how you have these two slots up here for two rounds. So basically you want to retract that fully so you can fit your two rounds in, but you don't want to retract it far enough that this one will accept a round because then you're going to have a six round magazine and it's going to be illegal. So just uh, the way I did it was just kind of, I don't know, I'd say that's like halfway roughly. You can kind of just see where, I, where I'm at. <laughs> So it doesn't, it doesn't retract fully so you can get another round in there, but you can get your two rounds in. So then I, you know, I just kept it there and I kind of marked, eyeballed it, just kind of marked, drilled my hole, put the rivet in and alas, she works. And you can't modify that to do anything other than five rounds. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. Um, Last I heard, uh, Tactical Imports, they're selling drums now already pre-pinned, which is, they should have done that from the start. Like, I don't know why the fuck they sent that stupid plate thing. Um, the other thing I'll add in this video, because I didn't include it in the process, I wasn't planning on making a video, but I figured uh, I'll help someone, maybe. Um, so this is the plate that it comes with. Um, so basically just, there's two little tack welds, so... Um, just to compare it to this one, this thing, if this was the original plate in here, there's two little tack welds holding the, holding, can't speak, holding this uh, nut in. So you just want to take a Dremel to it and just carefully grind it away. Um, you don't have to grind all the way through or else you risk uh, hurting the threads on the inside, which um, you don't want to do, obviously. So just grind it enough that... Uh, you get it weak and then you can pretty well take like a pair of vice grips to it and just like break it apart. And that's, that's, that's how I did it and worked out pretty good for me. I actually think I went through a tiny bit on my threads, but it's still threadable. So it's fine. I didn't screw anything up too bad. Um, but yeah, that's it. You don't have to re weld this or anything. I mean, you can, if you want, but like, it's really unnecessary. In fact, it's actually better to keep it like this probably just in case something were to break in here, you can easily replace that spindle. Um, just by undoing it and replacing it. It is a little bit tricky to get out of here, especially with the pin in there now, but it, it is possible. I tested it. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll, I'll do my best to get back to you guys.
Sorry again for the shitty video, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully this answers some type of question for somebody. Um, the other thing I did while it was open, just a quick thing you can do while you're already working on it, is uh, spray the fucking thing down with brake clean because it's filled with cosmoline, at least mine was. And then uh, get your gun lube and just re-lube everything. Um, just a thin thin film of lube just so it doesn't rust or anything like that. Um, once this kind of gets... Once I clean this up, I'm probably going to tape this and get this spray painted nice. I just hate the look of a stupid silver rivet on a black drum mag, so I'm probably just going to flat... I have some flat uh, spray paint lying around, so I'm probably going to do a little final touch there. But other than that, she uh, she runs good. I mean, I haven't tested it live yet, but I'm, sh I'm sure she's going to run great. So anyway, hope this uh, can help someone out. And uh, yeah.